Hello folks, I'm Dean with Dean's Woodworking. Welcome to the shop. Y'all come on in and make yourself comfortable. Today, we're gonna turn a wooden spatula for the wife. Been turning a bunch of kitchen stuff here lately and uh, she mentioned that she didn't have a new spatula, so we're gonna solve that problem, all right? And folks, th this is a project that's super simple to do. You can make it out of scrap wood if there is such a thing. Maybe there's just smaller pieces we haven't used yet. Let's go ahead and get started. Let me show you what I've got. We've got a 12 and a half piece of three quarter inch wood, two inches across, and we're gonna turn that into a spatula. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in here. Oh, we'll, we'll slope this down here, and then we'll come in and we'll make us a handle there Obviously, we're not going to make it that wide, but uh, basically, we'll we'll slope it back out. Now, you guys can tell why I turn wood and I'm not an artist, okay? I leave the artist stuff to the wife. Let me go ahead and get my respirator on and we'll get started. Okay, we'll start off with the roughing gouge. We'll go ahead and start right about there. And basically with this up here, we're just going to bring down two rounds. Take a look and kind of see what we've got. Are we getting that shape about like we want? Yeah, we've come down about as far this way as we want to come. And we'll start bringing it in a little bit more right here. We'll go ahead and switch over to our skew at this point. We're going to go to the one inch skew. Hoping I could get a little bit of that noise and vibration out of there. But it looks like it's there. Guy coming back from the other direction. I'm using just the very bottom edge of that skew there. So as I'm using just the bottom edge of that skew so as not to put any more pressure on the wood than I have to. And basically what we're going to do is going to leave the handle a little, little larger on this end and we're going to taper it down and then we'll roll that end over. And get just a little piece of paper towel here. We'll tear this into a smaller section. I 
that gives me the ability to put a whole lot more pressure on there without it getting so hot on my hand. Okay, we've got that tapered down like we want it. We've got a little high spot right here, so we're going to come back in. I think we're looking good there and then what we'll do is we'll roll it over here we're going to put just a tiny little bead right here for that I'm going to grab my 3 8 spindle gouge Okay. So we are pretty close to being done on the lathe. We're going to sand this down. I think what we'll do is take that roughing gouge and we'll go ahead and just turn the corner off of this here. So in other words, we're not going to hit it very hard or very heavy. We're going to give this thing a little bit of a sanding. We'll start off with this uh, little pad here. And I've come to, to really enjoy this thing for some spindle work where you got large flat areas or straight areas. You can't obviously hit that bead with it. Because it will... Uh, If you hit that bead with it, you're going to destroy that bead in a heartbeat. Okay, that's the 120. You hit it with the 180. Go with a 240 and guys this is uh, this is how long you ought to be sanding in fact if you're sanding this long you're probably getting some rough cuts because I just did so uh, it doesn't take that long to sand something like this Okay, that was the 240, this is the 320. Again. Let's take a look and see where we're at here. Well, that's nice and smooth. We got a nice smooth little bead. I guess we hit that bead with a little bit of sandpaper after all. So now what we need to do 
need to part this off on this end. We're going to take it over to the bandsaw and we're going to trim this. So let's go ahead and get started parting this thing off. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to trim this back a little bit, okay? It gives me a little bit more room to cut. And when you look at that, I just have just a tiny little speck to sand there. And then we're going to go over to the bandsaw and we're going to shape this a little bit. So come with me and we'll go on over to the bandsaw, okay? Okay, so one of the things I like to do anytime I'm cutting something small on the bandsaw is I'll throw down a little piece of quarter inch wood here. That's going to basically act as a zero clearance or, or pretty close to a zero clearance for me. And basically what I'm going to do is we're going to feed this thing in here. And we're just angling from the uh, end there right back to just below where our handle is. Okay, so you see what we did there. All right. Then we're going to come back in. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. We're going to start our cut about a quarter of an inch thick. And we're going to bring it up. We're going to get just a little bit thicker the closer to the handle we get. But we'll finish this cut a little bit further away from the handle than we were. So you see where I am. We're a little bit high on this side. We're right at the handle on this side. Just a little bit of curve. It got a little bit thicker as we came up. We're about a quarter of an inch down here. We're probably three eighths here. Now we're gonna take this over to our uh, belt sander and we're gonna get at it and we're gonna finish shaping it, okay? So I'll see you over at the belt sander. there on the back of this. That's just about got it. Okay, we're good there. Now on the front, we're going to be using more of this end here. Taper that in just a little bit and round it over. Okay. And we want to take a little bit of wood off of that because that end, remember that's still the factory end. We didn't take anything off of that.
Okay, folks, that takes care of the sanding here and finishes up the spatula part. But remember, we still had just a little bit right here on the end. And, and now that is finished as well. Folks, it's that easy to make these. However, they do come with a warning. Once you get started making these things, your friends, your family, and if you sell items, your customers will never let you stop, okay? They can be a lot of fun to make, and they're quick and easy to do as well. Go make some and have fun doing it. Thanks for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy, and happy turning.